Hey guys, welcome back to the Truth Pages. It's your boy TTP, back with another music video breakdown. Man, when I saw this video, number two on trending, I could not believe my eyes. And you guys know, people who have followed this channel, I have been saying in my last couple of videos that this is an agenda. It's an agenda to confuse kids, to confuse people, to make them think that there's something that they're not. This is a total agenda, okay? And this music video breakdown is gonna be about this artist named Little Yachty. He came out with this song called Oprah's Bank Account. And in the video, he's dressed as Oprah, lipstick, wig, the works. He's interviewing Drake, he's interviewing the baby, and it's just some crazy stuff. Now, of course, there is symbolism in the video. It's very subtle, but if you know what to look for, it's definitely there. So let's just jump right into it. I'm going to show you guys some screenshots of this video. I won't be using any, any actual video clips for copyright purposes. I know this video is probably going to be flagged because the alphabet people are going to come for me, but I'm exposing the truth. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into this music video breakdown. Okay. So starting out the video, we have women in the audience and they're shouting and chanting for Oprah to come out, okay? And then here comes Lil Yachty wearing the makeup, wearing the wig, and then he got two men beside him wearing the black and white tuxedos. That's definitely not a coincidence. Now in this video, there's a lot of black and white symbolism more than anything else. There's other things, but there's also the black and white symbolism. Here we have a woman that Oprah Yachty is next to. She's wearing a black and the white. Okay, you can see the woman next to her has the white shirt and the black tie around her neck. Of course, we have little Yachty just proud of wearing this dang dress, proud of wearing this wig, acting like he's Oprah. And if you guys have been following me on this channel, you know I'm not a big fan of Oprah either. I really don't like Oprah. But anyway, going back to the video, so we can see in this audience shot that there's a nice balance between the black and the white which is of course the duality then we have drake coming out a lot of people ask me to do a video on drake i probably will very very soon and then of course we have this shot of little yachty outside the dress outside the makeup but yet still has a very girly feminine haircut then we have this woman right here wearing the white right next to another lady wearing the white now i want you guys to take a good look at these next screenshots that I'm about to show you. Let's take a look at them. Now, let's just take a look at these pictures. This right here is what hip hop has become. This is what people are getting into. This is what the industry is about. The industry wants to promote this to you. They want you to think it's completely normal to feel like you're something that you biologically aren't. I don't call these people women. I call them female impersonators because they're not women. It's a lie. It's not a coincidence that we're seeing this video come out only a few weeks before Dwayne announced, Dwayne Wade announced that his son is now a girl. Can you guys see now that this is an agenda? Look at that. The power of God's plan and this dude's on the cover cross-dressing. Deuteronomy 22.5 The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So it's obviously clear that God does not want us cross-dressing, period. It is not his will. It is not God's plan. That's a lie straight from the father lies himself, Satan. So moving along, we can see in this in this scene, there's a man wearing the black and white color, the color combination. And we can see little Yachty getting out of the black truck. No, no symbolism there. Yeah, right. Right here, we got the baby and he's standing next to a woman with the white tank top and a black coat. Of course, the black and white symbolism. So what I did is I highlighted two things in this picture that stood out to me. One of, the, one of them is the antlers in the upright right corner and also 
the chessboard that has the checkered symbolism. Now it's not in black and white, but still it's the checkerboard symbolism that the Freemasons use. And I thought that was very uh, interesting to point out. And at this part of the video, he's basically interviewing the baby. So he goes ahead and he interviews the baby and then it cuts back to him back at the studio and he does that little Oprah spill. He was like, you get a boat and you get a boat and you get a boat. Like just some really cheesy stuff. Anyway, so the next shot we see the black and white with the men in the tuxedos. We can still see the black and white in the audience with the different women. And I mean, that's pretty much the video. Um, but guys, you really, really need to recognize what time we're living in, okay? We are living at the very end of the age, right before Christ's return. But before Christ returns, the devil's going to be given power to be to deceive people into evil. And they're coming for your kids. They want your kids to be confused about themselves, okay? They're coming for everyone. I mean, they want the whole world gay. But what they've been doing lately is going after the black community. This is an ongoing attack to the children of this world, but especially black kids. That's why you got to be careful what you let your kids listen to, what you let your kids consume, because they don't want the best for your children. They really don't, because if they didn't, they wouldn't show some of the things that they show even in regular children programming on television i mean look at pharrell guys look at pharrell the one eye symbolism him wearing a dress they're talking about a new masculinity he over here looking like a freaking shuttlecock the thing you play with you play the racket with i mean come on man it's just it's just out of control how they're pushing this stuff so hard So I guess that what probably happened is because Yachty actually had a decent career, uh, I think kind of like back in like 2015, 2014, uh, you know, don't quote me on that. I'm not a fan of this dude at all, but he actually had a really good career. Like his face was all over the music videos. He was doing a lot of different features and then he just disappeared and fell off. And then it's, it's not a coincidence that he comes back with a huge song that has Drake on it and has the baby on it and then he's wearing a dress I mean the A&R at his label probably said okay well look we can revive your career but you gotta throw this dress on and you gotta play Oprah and Lil Yachty's probably be like yeah I'll do it I'll do it and now yeah he did a really big song it's number two on trending so I know he's gonna make a lot of money off of, off of this especially because he has Drake and he has the baby and to be honest, the baby is the most hottest rapper in the game right now. So that, that shot him up a few points. And then of course we got Drake, who's one of the biggest artists in the world. So that definitely is gonna shoot up a few points. But don't be surprised if you guys continue to see this cross-dressing stuff in hip hop especially. Because they don't use they don't use rock and roll to indoctrinate people anymore. You know, you listen to the old rock bands and stuff like that, they didn't really they did not really like they 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 showed a lot of antichrist imagery in the rock and roll uh genre back in the days but now hip-hop has become the new rock and roll and that's why you're seeing people with like tattoos on their face and the girly haircuts wearing choke chains and all this other stuff you couldn't pay me to wear no choke chain i think that's for girls when i see dudes wearing choke chains i think it's just i think it's suspect but this is part of the industry. You're going to have an A&R and your A&R is going to work on your image. And in order for you to be a successful rapper, they're going to develop your image and say, OK, this is how we want you to dress. This is how we want you to act. And you got to go along with it. And I think that's exactly what happened here. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll give you a budget so you can you can get these people on your songs. We'll give you a big enough budget for that. But you got to put on a dress and you got to do the video and pretend to be a woman. Lipstick, a wig, a dress, high heels, everything. Anyway, I'm done with this video. I just wanted to make it quick. I wanted to point this out and upload it and let you guys see the truth. Please understand the times that we live in right now 
And also please understand that they will continue to do this for someone who's claiming to be something that they biologically aren't, who are delusional in their mind to say that God's work is not perfect and that when God created male and female, it was not good. When God said it was good to question God or to question God's ability to create us and to question whether God made mistakes is very, very, very delusional. And only a fool believes that there is no God. This is the Truth Pages. I'll catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Now, one more last thing I want to show before I close out this video are pictures of several different rappers who have put on a dress at some point in their career. I could also talk about actors, but that's a different video for a different time. Let's just take a look at some rappers who have put this dress on just to prove this is an agenda.